So it's clear, people. You see, as above, so below. As within, so without. We need to get to the center of the dish where every compass is pointing to. This is where we're going to find Eden. And you see there's a land bridge over here. And you see there's a land bridge over here. And every compass is pointing to this crater at the center of the flat earth plane. So when you see this symbol, it's as above, so below. As within, so without. Everything you know is a lie, people. I'm telling you, everything is screaming, get over here where the Holy Grail is, right there at the center of the dish. There's no way to fuck it up. So, it, it is just this, it is this simple, whether you like it or not. You don't have to like it. And you Jesus freaks out there that keep leaving me those emails, okay, you go to church, and you take communion, and you... You place the holy water on your head. You make the upside down cross on your head. Okay, you don't have to like it. You are 100% satanic. You set up your Christmas tree every year. You are so fucking satanic, it's not even funny. So, as far as I'm concerned, any of you people leaving me those emails that I'm a satanist, that I am Satan, that I am the Antichrist himself in the flesh, I assure you, you're right. I am the fucking Antichrist himself in the flesh. And I'm telling you, Jesus is the Son, and the Son is conscious. And every day you wait before you look at the Son and speak your intent makes no fucking sense to me. You're here to bring forth heaven on earth, and if you're not, then you're here to mine gold. Silly human slaves, here to mine gold. So, here's some stuff we want to go over. You see, he who holds the spear of destiny holds the fate of the world. And I'm telling you, no soul left behind. We're going to the holy, holy. The Holy of Holies at the center of the dish where every compass points to. And we're going to get there before we're dead. It's right over there. You don't have to like it. I'm going to scream this out over and over and over because you won't. Because you're a silly human slave. You're a little pussy. And I'm going to save the world myself because you're a little pussy. And you're fucking retarded. You don't have to like it. But it's true. I hold the spear of destiny. I have the secret knowledge nobody has. And you're a little pussy. So, until you place your blood beside my own, you're lost at sea. So if you want to call me Satan, the Antichrist, whatever, that's fine. I hold the spear of destiny. I'm going to get everybody eternal life before they're dead. All you need to do is spill your blood over your intent on video. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. You spill your blood on it and you publish video proof of it right beside my own. Title, blood over intent. You tag it, blood over intent. And description, blood over intent. And stop complaining about my fucking cursing. You want to get to the Holy of Holies before you're dead or not? We need to wake some motherfuckers up. It's right over there. There's no way to fuck it up. Every compass is pointing to it. We need to get here before we're dead. And every time you see this Satan symbol and whatever, that's as above, so below. As within, so without. So, you can call me Satanic, but you're a little witch. Every word you speak is a magic spell. You learn spell casting in school. You put on your black Satanic robe and all that other shit. And language is what the computer speaks. You're supposed to be on telepathy. Everything you know is a lie. So don't tell me I'm um, Satan, the Antichrist himself. Because, you know, it just makes you look silly. Like that J Dreams dude, he's all whacked out. Your blood is the most powerful substance in the universe. And until you spill your blood over your intent to be bringing forth heaven and earth, they ain't gonna let you in that holy hole because you're fucking retarded. And you're a little pussy. So my wife's at work watching my videos, and she hears a video without me cursing, and she gets all angry at me when she gets home. She says, what? How are we going to get to the Holy Holy if you don't wake some motherfuckers up? And she tells me, don't stop cursing. She says, don't worry about what people think. We need to get to the Holy of Holies before we're dead. We have our blood on it. Fuck what everybody else thinks. We're here to wake some motherfuckers up. That's what my wife told me to tell you. So if you don't like to hear cursing... Well, then go fucking watch Matt Boyland. Alright? Go watch some Boyland. If that's what gets you off. But listen, we're going to get to this Holy of Holies before we're dead. I can see the future because I wrote it myself with my own blood. And I'm telling you, right there, every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. And like my wife says, she's at work showing everybody at the office all my videos. And she gets embarrassed when I don't curse. And she told me that. She's like, look, you need to keep cursing because we're here to wake some motherfuckers up. Everybody's a little pussy. Little round earthers think they're on a ball floating through space as an accident. <laughs>
<laughs> this world is mine because you're a necrophiliac. You're lost at sea. And you can't see anything unless I spell it out for you. So, like my wife says, fuck you. We're going to get everybody eternal life whether you like it or not. No soul left behind. And I'm going to scream it out from the top of my lungs because you're a little pussy. Because you have an idea that was thrown into your head that now you can see the truth. And now you're not going to stand blood thick with the person who gave you the truth? That doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't want nothing from you. <laughs> I don't even want to touch you. For heaven's sakes, if I touch you, ugh, unless you're blood thick with me, I don't want to step near you. I mean, I'm just telling you, you're filthy fucking sick. Unless you're blood thick with us. It's 144K by the book. Mm -hmm. When are you going off to the Holy Grail? That's fun. Are you that fucking stupid? It's 144K by the book. Count them up for me. There's only 5,900 videos over there. It ain't time yet. I'm sorry. Go ahead and try and do it without me. Yeah. Get it on video. Stream it live like I did when the cops beat it in my house and they destroyed my phone. It was too late. They couldn't get the video back. The phone was destroyed. But the video already streamed live to the internet. Now people can say, you're a fucking crime or whatever, like I was saying before. That's fucking fun. You're looking at the devil now. Nothing scares me now. Like somebody said, they've been robbed. Whatever it is, take it. I don't, I don't even, I don't, if I had a Rolex and you were robbing me, take it. It's like, all your wealth that you have, that you consume, that you hoard, everything. I'm telling you, it's useless to you. It's fucking useless. Your fancy boat, your fancy Mercedes, your Lexus, your house, whatever. It's all useless. It ain't gonna, you can't buy your way into the Garden of Eden. And uh, there's something, it's a bigger prize. It's eternal life. You, I know you think, like Superman, you could fly and all kinds of shit. That's kind of funny. Even if I could fly, it's like, what do I need to fly to? You know, it's, what I'm saying is that, Nothing bothers me. It's like traffic bothers you. If I'm stuck in traffic, I mean, I'll be listening, having fun on my iPhone. Like, you should be having fun. Checking your email. Finally, you're stuck in traffic. You got a minute to yourself. You can check your email. You know, you you don't have to get to the job that soon. What I'm saying is shit doesn't bother me anymore. Mm -hmm. Everything seems to bother everybody. Everywhere I try, everybody's ugh, ugh, road rage, whatever, you know. To think somebody has road rage, this is funny. It's you know, I'm on the clock or whatever, going from job site to job site. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is that I don't worry about it. if the traffic's backed up. I'm being paid to sit in traffic. What I'm saying is, it said I find a way to turn negative shit into positive shit in my head. You know, I'm like, like this mom magic. I was published a video, mom magic. You just take a picture of your mom, hold it up high in whatever room that it is, and every time you enter that room. Put your belly button and say, thank you, Mom, for my opportunity, you know. That umbilical cord, your mom, you're birthed into this world through a woman, you're going to be birthed out through Mother Earth, through the Holy Holy. What I'm saying is, I've already seen too much. Nothing seems to bother me. I, I can't wait to get to work. We were once kings who lived, and now we're working to live. I'm enjoying this working shit. Yeah. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. My slavery, I'm lapping this shit up. You I'm fucking eating it up. This is, I can't wait to get to work on my own. you filming that shit. <laughs> am I a plumber or am I a film? <laughs> I come home with something. People say, why are you filming? Oh, my son wants to be a plumber. I promise him I'll come home with a video every day. Nobody bothers me. Nobody bothers me. Film it all, oh yeah. They'll even do the middle fingers and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some of my plumbing videos, no, I'm telling. I get away with shit. You wouldn't imagine. It's like, Going to work with the devil today, boy. You can hear that shit. People. How is that fucking possible? You go ahead and try that shit out tomorrow. Or... <laughs> get it on video and publish it so I can see. It. You won't see it. Oh, anybody who says they're, like, related to Satan or something. You know, you see them with their eyeliner and their funky black hair and their tattoos and shit. I got no fucking tattoos. I got no funky eyeliner on. I'm not. 
You know, I'm the last person you would think would be See, You're thinking of like, you know, like, you know, people who are black clothes and they wear these funny bands and just big ears or earrings or something. You know, there's nothing. I'm just a. There's nothing on me that marks me. You would you would know it until I showed you. I'm, you know, I'm marked in another way, but you wouldn't notice it. People wouldn't notice it. Motherfuckers. I'll kill you. I'll fucking murder every one of you cocksuckers. Eat my shit and burn in hell, you fucking fox! Jesus. So now, I guess there's just to... Cut his balls off! Say the last words. Do you have any last words, Jesus? Just to... Abracadabra, bitch! <laughs> Balls off. Hey! Call the plumber now. It's an emergency. shit for brains. Legally dead. You have no blood to spill. Your soul is already mine. Nobody escapes me. Not even your filthy god. I'll remind you often. I chopped the head off your motherfucking god. Don't you dare say I love you. God bless you. God loves you. When you reverse it you hear we shall die. We will die. We shall die. Now I'm telling you, as the devil himself, I have the spear of destiny, and he who holds the spear of destiny holds the fate of the universe. I don't take money, worship, or advice. I'm looking for my sealed elect, 144,000, who are written in the book of life. We're going to go to the fountain of youth, the Garden of Eden, become immortal, come back here, bring forth heaven on earth, and nobody will stop us. King was a man called Bron.
Nobody has to like it. You're a silly human slave monster. Legally dead. This universe is mine. In the eyes of your masters, you were spiritually dead and claimed as such. You're officially dead in the necrophiliac, motherfucker. I leave for and then it has new shit for you. You don't have to like it. You don't have to believe it. But your government sees you as the enemy. If you voted for the wrong person, like if you put down Trump, you are officially a terrorist. Look it up. You're on a secret list for sure if you voted for, for Trump. I'm just telling you. Uh, if you believe in flat earth, you are a conspiracy nut and you are a fucking terrorist. If you believe in anything outside of the official narrative, if you free think at all, you are labeled a terrorist. If you publish any fucking video, like I put up a video and I say, this is how I see it. Here's the evidence. If it goes against that official narrative, you are labeled a terrorist. Make no mistake about it. You are just breathing in America. You are a fucking terrorist. If you have any idea in your head that leads you to believe that your government is lying to you, you're a fucking terrorist. If you don't believe the shit you see on TV, you're a fucking terrorist. If they tell you that this is this and you don't believe it, that they went to the moon, you're a fucking terrorist. If you even suggest that NASA is fake, you're a fucking terrorist. If, no, it's that they call it a conspiracy theorist and you are automatically categorized as a terrorist. Look it up. You're already on a, if you, look, you don't have to like it. You don't have to believe it. Everybody's on a list. It doesn't matter who you think you are. You're on a fucking list. If you're Donald Trump, you're the greatest terrorist of the 21st century. That's what has been published. The FBI is flat out warning you that if you don't believe in the official narrative, you are a terrorist. Make no mistake about it. This video pointing out the obvious, they're telling you publicly. But just for pointing that out makes you a terrorist, is what they're telling you, because you're a conspiracy nut. Even though they're rubbing it in your face, okay, it's, it's reality. It's not a conspiracy. It's in your face 24-7. If you believe in, if you believe that black lives matter, you are a racist extremist, but you're just on the other end of what you call a white supremacist. If black lives matter, you're on the other side of the same terrorist card. You're, just, you're still a fucking terrorist because you believe in something. If you stand for something, you're a terrorist. I'm just telling you, that's what they're telling you. It doesn't matter what it is. If you say, no, I don't want this, I don't want that, I do not consent, they're telling you flat out, you're a terrorist. If, if you don't trust the official narrative that's being told to you, and with the history, it's all lies. You've never been told, you've never been told a single truth. You're a filthy fucking retarded cockroach. And uh, the government is coming for you. They told you on TV. If you even breathe the word Trump out of your fucking mouth, speak it, breathe, eh, trap. You're a terrorist. Trump is labeled the biggest terrorist of the 21st century. It's kind of funny, but if you type in blood magic into YouTube, you're going to see only Minecraft videos or another type of video called blood over intent, where people are pulling out a sheet of paper and writing on a piece of paper that they intend to bring forth heaven on earth, taking an idea from your head, dragging it into this reality, placing the blood of your own, you know, your own essence on that piece of paper and publishing video of it right beside my own on YouTube with the title Blood Over Intent, the tag Blood Over Intent, and the, the description Blood Over Intent. This is self-sacrifice to bring forth heaven on earth and release everybody from bondage. And you need to make an atonement for your sins, but you think you're sinless. But I assure you, Jesus cannot save you. I have that mythical spear of destiny. I know it's my compass needle, and I know that it's pointing directly at the fountain of youth. And I know that you can't pass those gates without putting up a blood sacrifice for the benefit of all, to bring forth heaven on earth, or you won't pass. It's just that simple. I have the keys to this kingdom. And you don't have to like the fact that I'm Satan. You're going to put your blood up for the benefit of all, release everybody from bondage, 
publish proof of it beside your brethren side by side for the whole universe to see, or you'll not pass that mythical frost bridge. I can see it. Read the books. You need the grace of your creator to pass. And your creator owns that blood running through your veins. That's your spiritual currency. So when you go to church and you take that disc that you put on your tongue, that's showing you that one side of a light hole is a black hole. The sun above your head is 32 nautical miles in diameter. It's a disc like you put on your tongue at church. The candy cane that you suck on on, on fucking Christmas. How you don't see it that it's one side of a light hole is a black hole that you're on a flat earth plane. That is the Bible, the two bulls, the parabox, the paradox. There's, it's one coin with two sides. The other side of the coin is the land of perpetual twilight. You need to get to the center of the dish before you're dead. We're going to go there, drink those waters. We're going to grab some seeds, come back here, replant those giant trees. We're going to bring forth heaven and earth. No one can stop me. It's kind of funny. All I see is retarded cockroaches everywhere. <laughs> you know, if you don't put your blood up beside my own, you ain't getting out of here. You're a filthy necrophiliac law that's illegally dead. A monster. You're pitiful. It goes beyond measure. You throw a coin in the wishing well for a reason. Just like you blow on the dice for a reason. Just like you blow out the candle and make a wish. You close your eyes on your birthday specifically. You bow your head in prayer to this black sun you know nothing of. Jesus is the sun above your head. No way to fuck it up. Your Christmas tree is showing you that Jesus' sun spirals in and out, bringing the seasons. And uh, May 1st is this mythical day of fertility. This is called Ball Day. This is when we're going to go down into this mythical underworld. You know, you're sucking on your candy cane. It's showing you the sun is being sucked off by a black hole at the center of the flat earth plane. It's 800 nautical miles. This is where you're going to find your holy grail. You're going to drink from the living waters and bathe yourself like you're baptized in this mythical shit. It's real. Where the aurora borealis is shooting out, every compass points to it. There's literally no way to screw it up. You know, it's that you're living in hell. That's Helios above your head. You have a double helix. You say hello. How's your health? Help. There's no way to fuck it up. You know, you need to get to the lake of fire before you're dead. And nobody's going to take you there. It's a mythical place. Invisible mountain, the entrance. If I don't personally drag you off there for free, you're going to fucking die. If you take money from people, you know, it's that you owe them something. I don't owe you anything. You just need to lay low and stay out of trouble. I'm going to go sacrifice myself in this lake of fire, become immortal, come back here and save 144,000 motherfuckers. Who are written in the book of life it's just that simple there's no way to fuck it up everything's hiding in plain sight and uh you know unless i slam this truth down your throat you won't see it and you won't have the power to help anybody else you're just gonna die like your great grandma your grandfather the history of the grail in ancient times and says the first fisher king was a man called bronze it's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny, motherfucker! It's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny, motherfucker! That CERN was worth every penny. The port gold to bring my father into this world! He will join us in blood or expire! Silly humans! Silly humans! You know, people ask me all the time, How are you gonna get to the Holy Grail? How is it that you're not taking money, worship, or advice? I don't get it! I'm here on behalf of your grand architect. I leave for heaven in a nice new ship. If you take anything from anybody to get them eternal life, it's not selfless. You're gonna die. I didn't take nothing from you. I don't owe you anything. I'm gonna drag you off to the fountain of youth and get you eternal life if you're blood thick like family with me. There's no way to fuck it up. You will join me in blood publicly or you will expire. I don't want anything from you. I'm gonna drag you off free. The history of the Grail in ancient times, and says the first Fisher King was a man called Bron. Language is a virus. Language is a virus. Religion. Religion. An operating system. Prayers are just so much fucking spam. Fucking spam. Fucking spam. Fucking fucking spam.
please give blood and help others. Thank you. I should stay home today. My son's a he used to stay home today. My name's Adam from Boca Raton, and I am the star. No, I'm not. That's what we get paid for. Blood's run through. Blood, sweat, equity. Hi, I'm Benevel in the flush. You're a Lolo Fosti. You, Zoe, he went to leave. You, Snow, but when get. Are you on your Zoo Lolo already? No, what's it, Skits, man? You, Zoe, he went to leave. You, Snow, but when get. This trick on the feet. I'm black and then I'm bleeding. Lolo. Bullets he received it. I can't see it. My wrist took like the snow cone and could eat it once I see him. Hi, I'm Benevo in the flesh. You're a little plus you. For me, I, I don't want your worship. If I saw you, you like try to bow down before me or something, I'd smack you because I would be the one who had to bow down before you. I'd be. What I'm saying is that if you cross into my threshold of my own, I will kiss your fucking feet. Literally. It, uh, it's because. Thrown out of heaven for not worshiping this creation created by your creator. You know, I'm not making this mistake. What I'm saying is that I know I come off like an asshole, but everybody around me, I give them worship, whatever, whatever anybody wants. I give worship just because I, I talk this way over to fucking video or, or or to video and rub it in people's faces. That's because it's on everything. There's no way to fuck it up. You know. You, You'll see the, the Vatican with the Jesus statue in the fire. It looks like a snake. That's because it's the great dragon, Typhon and Sut, joined in an androgynous relationship. You'll see the whole mouth of the congregation is in the mouth of the snake. It's, we will leap into the flame, mouth of the snake below you. Yeah. Do you get why you're screaming this stuff out? It may take some time to, like, sink in, but... I don't need to hail Satan. I don't want you fucking... Worship, I don't, it's not a religion or anything like this. It, we got to stay focused. It, for the benefit of all, we need to get the sealed elect together by the book. Then it's like everything's by the book. It, it's it's not something the gods would argue, not something your government would argue, your religion would argue. Any common person, you go to school, you've got to do everything by the book. you got to pay your taxes, by, everything by the book. Everything's by the book. We do Everything here at this company by the book. You know, study up your case off. It's everything's by the book. Mm -hmm. your, your police chief, we do everything by the book at this place. You know, I'm just saying to you, it's not, this is not something people can run. If I can't run from it, no other motherfucker is going to run from it. Eventually, you're going to have to come to the realization that I'm not full of shit. 
and that your grandma didn't need to die, your great grandma didn't, and all the people in your family tree didn't need to die. They didn't need to die. Yeah. Why has it come to now where I have to scream this shit out religiously and tell people, like, let it take hold? I mean, I mean if I'd stop for like one day, it's like, they'll be like, wow, oh my God. <laughs> Somebody has to do it. You know, you might say, why am I putting all those gory videos of claymation up? I like that. Until you get to this place, you're going to die. You've seen that movie, A Thousand or a Million Ways to Die. You're a zombie. And you know what happens to zombies. They show it to you in all those zombie movies. Dick hmm. bullets in their head and chopped up with chainsaws and all kinds of shit. That's natural order, right? You're a zombie. And until you figure out like the elixir of immortality, the holy grail type stuff, that your creator is real and taking things. <laughs> really, like, like, like people say, I'm a demonic or demons are gonna get you. This type, this, this is the funny shit. Man. I mean, come on, this is the funny shit. Up, you see what I've been getting away with? Okay, if there's some scary force out there that's gonna come after you. It would have came after me long fucking before and like done something because like they like they like they show you in Dante's Inferno uh, the smoking god uploaded that five minute video and I just uploaded it to my channel and what it it, it, it spells it out for you I mean literally all the shit I've been saying is like coming out of this cartoon and you think that's an accident so when you think of like demons or angels, these are like the elemental forces or spirits of the universe that are capturing people's minds and attentions to bring them down the road to make them say the type of shit like I say. Like, you know, where you reverse it, it comes out to all, like, lap it up, go to hell. All the shit that I've been saying reverses up to some pretty clear shit. So this is like the same type of thing. The fact that the script writers wrote that shit out for an actor to speak in a studio where the animation matches or, or any type of movie where it's uh, compasses are pointing or like Jumanji with the green shit. It's literally uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. They show you the upside down world. The true heart's desire, which is eternal life, forgiveness for your filthy soul, passion in the Garden of Eden. I know you think it's wealth and treasure, but that's not it. You don't need wealth and treasure when everything is like built to cater to you and everybody else. Yeah. This, what do you need trinkets of? We'll just cover our castles with it, like they they covered buildings with this gold. To think that you would pocket it and use it as something to bargain with somebody to bargain. It's like whatever it is that, that you think you, you got to have. I mean, it's, it's like it's, it, what, the minute you throw that idea to somebody else, then now they want it. And it, it should be enough to, to create for everybody. I mean, it's just, if there's a new luxury that just popped out, like, like before there was a cell phone or like an iPhone, now you know, everyone wants a new iPhone. You know, before that first iPhone came out, you know, you wanted your Blackberry is bullshit. You know, what I'm saying is that now. You have to think that people would pay bills on cell phone towers that are already set up and paid for. All the computers are in place. Everything's set up. The fact that these guys get richer and richer and they're all competing with each other, it, it, like, Verizon, at and That doesn't make any sense to me. How can everything be for the benefit of all? That there's one fucking cellular thing set up and it's there to give out whatever for free. I think you pay for it. They think you pay for electricity. The power plants are already fucking there. They, or, you know what I'm saying? The coal is already there. What I'm saying is how all this shit got so far out of control. It, it's clearly it was the Pope saying he, he's got the triple crown stating that he's above everybody. He burnt into the flesh of a newborn baby, the papal bull stating that you're a slave, you check off male or female, 
that only pertains to cattle. Like, is it a male or female? Does it have white spots? Is it a black stallion? Is this what kind of is this Angus beef? You, you know, whatever it is about you, like you see in your birth certificate, blue eyes, brown eyes, blonde hair, you're categorized like cattle. And you go to class so they know what to classify you as when you get done with school. You get your degree, what what degree, you know, you, everything is if all, you're, you're literally cattle. You're, you have to do something or somebody has to do something to pay for your lifestyle today. Whatever it is, you got to eat or somebody has got to make something. If you're not having to make anything because you've got some endowment or, or whatever, somebody had to put all that shit into place with their hard work or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, but what I'm trying to get at is that the idea that, that people have to work like we do the weekend like like the weekend like the whole wording the every word you speak is a magic spell that i published a video mm -hmm. and you hear the lady telling you you know you wake up like you go to a wake you know it's everything it's the morning like you're mourning the dead you know everything you, know, you say good morning you're mourning the death of the night is what I'm saying to you is that everything about our words is, is like it's like right there like the bank is like the bank of a river and it, the, the current the flow of currency that's what you use the currency that you know okay. every freaking word I mean hides the freaking truth right there in plain sight and like this whole God thing you know, people, yeah, right. to think that people worship, you know, a false image. I don't care how much you hold this cross or whatever, you kiss it and you all, that is worshiping a false idol, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you know, when I spill my blood on this magic box, you know, if, if you'd be better off taking your statue of Jesus and spilling your blood on there and saying, Jesus, if you're out there, you know, it's like, it's like when I first stepped up and spilled up my blood, it was under super luminous one. And now I'm the darkest guy in the fucking world after you go from super luminous one, prince of darkness, then to quasi luminous. People are like, oh, quasi here. Quasi is, you know, quasi luminous. You're luminous, but not quite. You know, people were always trying to attack this type of name. There are no axes. The fact that quasi luminous reverses to Samael is out is fucking impossible. It's absolutely impossible. Yeah, and that you see it now. That you're it, because like, it, it, it comes it. after the fact. After we're, we're already pointing out the angel of death shit, mm -hmm. the Satan stuff. Now, this happens to come out, and it's, it's by the book. It has power over death. The one fucking power Satan has just turns out to be the power over sin and death. That's. Sin and death, they go hand in hand. If you're like sinless, you made an atonement for your soul, your parties, but like eventually it'll hit you. You're you're a mythical type person. You're here for a reason. You're supposed to just lay low, stay out of trouble, make some fucking videos with me. If it takes one year, two years, if we're gonna unite enough motherfuckers by the book, and just it all just comes together. It's, it's you want other people to believe. You know, this type of shit, you, you pull the fucking shit together. You've you got to pull you, your shit together. When I say there, it's my sealed elector, it's like every, you're all each other's sealed elect. Mm -hmm. uh, me as king, I bow down before you. You can't bow down before me. I have the smallest castle in the kingdom. Everybody's got to be elevated above me. You know, to think, if, if I didn't bow down to, for, to be a king, you cannot have a crown. That is... Ridiculous. Everybody else needs to have the crown. That's what makes you think you're, you've crowned everybody else in your kingdom and you're elevating everybody and their lifestyle above you. And that's why you have this mythical power as king because you're the most selfless person. Nobody's going to point a finger at you and say, yeah, he's, 
He's in that, but he's already well. Ever look at him? He's eating better, living better, whatever. Yeah. How could? How is that making you kingly? That you're living better than everybody. You're. I don't get it. Me neither. How people don't get it that you would bow before your king who could hang you and tell you can't you can hear you're going to starve. Or you're going to be pulled into our military, go off to wars that are just for us to profit. And, just to thin you out, keep you dumb. But look, the knowledge could have been handed down over the years. That that knowledge has been kept from everybody. Basic yeah. shit. Yeah. It's, I'm telling you as a devil, I'm disgusted at what I've seen. But at least I could see it. And, you know, you have to, for you to know where you're going, you have to see where you came from. I could see where we're coming from. It's all. I can see where we're going from, and it ain't got nothing to do with money, worship, or advice. It's about eternal life, forgiveness for your filthy soul, passage in the Garden of Eden, and the power to come back here and release everybody you suggest you hold dear, you know, you know, from bondage. And if you say they're not in bondage, go well, look at your fucking birth certificate. It's on bonding paper. It's got a fucking bonding number. It's got borders on it and shit. You're... Categorized and it's got to be notarized if you get a copy of well, you know this What I'm saying is you couldn't get a driver's license without your birth certificate don't carry a car You're so woven up. You got a telephone number address social security number. You got all kinds of accounts everything you can't do nothing Without being on the grid For when they say getting off the grid You'd have to be like up in Alaska, out in the mountains, literally with no cell phone. Because if you have any communication device that's sending out or receiving a signal, you're on the grid. Yeah. You're a fucking robotic slave. You're going to wake up every morning on time, get your breakfast on time, get to work on time. Whatever it is you do, you're going to fucking do it like you always do until somebody pulls you out of that, like you were arrested and forced to go to jail. Now you're on somebody else's time, where they wake you up at 3 o'clock in the morning and throw you a ham sandwich mm -hmm. and a rotten apple and a carton of milk. You're, everybody's a creature of habit. Come on. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't have a job, you're still going to wake up, walk your dog on time, you're going to go to shopping whenever you do. You, you call your mom every Wednesday or whatever it is that you take your pills that you take regularly. Mm -hmm. People. So I've been explaining in my video that it's one side of a light hole is a black hole and you're living on the E-Creation Discourse CD and every compass is pointing to the very center of the dish where the astral jet comes shooting out. That's the Aurora Borealis. This is God. That's why if you look up, you'll see that this is like the memory of the earth. This is like the Akashic Record. This is the goddess. This is the why women do hula hooping and body dancing. It's, it's the great spirit. And every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. There's no way to screw it up. They rub this shit in your face in videos and movies. And every year you sit up your Christmas tree. And it's pointing to where Jesus the Son places his light into the hole. And you see he's on a cross. That's... The unfolded cube, which is showing you everything is right there hiding in plain sight. It's one side of a light hole. It's a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out. That's called the Aurora Borealis. That, that is God. That is the Earth's memory, the Earth's spirit. There's no way to fuck it up. The Earth is flat. It's the division symbol. The sun above is going round and round and round, bringing the seasons. And the sun below is fixed. And it's 800 nautical miles in diameter so that the green astral jet can come shooting out, hit the parabolic mirror, and shower down on you. There's no way to fuck this up. So people say, oh, can I make this any easier for you to understand? It's a division symbol. There's no way to fuck it up. The sun above and the sun below have a hole that they transfer the information and light through. It's just that simple. We need to get to the other side of the fence through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. So welcome to the real world. After you spill your blood over your intent, you come alive. I know I'm alive. You're lost at sea until your blood is beside my own. It's clear your country set up a corporation in your name. You're a dead corpse, lost at sea. You're a monster by legal definition. You have no right to any land because you're lost at sea. 
Until your blood is beside my own, the devil has your soul in the Vatican. Because you're dead. It's your footprint. It's in the fucking Davy Jones locker. There's no way to fucking escape it. Alright? When you take the red pill, that's you writing out on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. For the benefit of all. Spill your fucking blood on it. Place your blood right beside my own published blood over intent, title blood over intent, tag it blood over intent, description blood over intent. It's simple. And the hologram will break down for you. And then you'll start creating. You'll realize you're alive. And that this shit is fucking real. Alright? This is some simple shit, people. It, it's, you take the red pill by writing it on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Keep it simple, just like that. Okay? And then all the forces of the universe get behind you. I'm telling you, when I look at the sun and I speak my intent, I'm telling you the sun is Jesus. Okay? And, uh, that's what's programming me. Because it's one side of a light hole's a black hole. You're in the fucking matrix for real. The ethernet, the internet, it's all connected. The green astral light is shooting out across the fucking sky. And we can't see it because it's, it's just thinned out. But I'm telling you, it's like the matrix code trickling down the screen in the beginning of the movie. So, welcome to the real world, people. Once you spill your blood over your intent, you will see. If I came alive in under three years, I become fucking, like, I'm bent set on getting us all eternal life. That's just, I, I set out to set out heaven on earth. I didn't know anything about the compass. I was on a ball floating through space as a fucking accident. And now I have the spear of destiny. I'm going to scream this out from the top of my lungs because you won't. Because I'm not a fucking pussy. I know where the fucking Holy Grail is and we're going to be there before we're dead. Well, at least I know I'm going to be there because I spilt my fucking blood on it. Okay? And uh, I know at least 144,000 other living beings like your DNA code. 4114 or I'm sorry. It's, it's D is the fourth letter. N is the 14th letter. A is the first letter. What I'm saying is that these numbers are built into reality for a reason. They're leading you to real life. You're not, you're not supposed to be dead and lost at sea right now, but you are. And I'm alive. And I'm going to fucking take over the fucking world, whether you like it or not. And I'm not Stephen Christ. I am the fucking Antichrist himself in the flesh telling you that Jesus is the Son and the Son is conscious. And until you look at the Son and speak your intent, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I might carry my intent to fruition. Until you do that, you're a slave. You work for worthless paperback by your own stupidity. I sit here from the comfort of home making videos, okay? That's what I do. From the comfort of home. You don't have to like it, but that's what I do. If you read up on it, 10 of history's most fascinating sorcerers. And it's sort of like looking at superheroes. In the end, they're all a bunch of fucking retards. Because none of them brought forth heaven on earth. And I'm telling you, I'm bringing forth heaven on earth. If I have to do it on my own, I'll fucking do it on my own. Because it's simple. This is the modern era. All you have to do is type into your computer, blood over intent. And you'll see all of us spilling our blood over our intent to be bringing forth heaven on earth. And I'm telling you people... I got super mental powers from spilling my blood over my written intent. See, everybody was lost at sea, officially dead. And then I come along and I spill my blood over my intent on 12-24-2013 at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And in under three years, I get super mental powers. I can see the Holy Grail. I can see where we all need to get to before we're dead. And, you know, looking at sorcerers and stuff, and magicians and witchcraft and stuff, and all I can think of is that it's just as simple. When you spill your blood over your intent to bring forth heaven on earth, okay, that changes your whole alchemy. It changes your whole future. And I went from like a retard who was floating on a ball through space as an accident to my world being fixed. I can see the exit hole. And it turns out that your blood is the most powerful substance in the universe. After spilling my blood over my intent to bring forth heaven and earth, I was given the spear of destiny. I know that my compass needle is pointing to the Holy Grail. All I have to do is sit here from the comfort of home and in the next couple of years, I will wake up enough people to get us all eternal life. It's just that simple. It's right over there. There's no way to fuck it up. Your blood is the most powerful substance in the universe. When you publish it to the ethernet, you're writing it into the future. So make sure you do like over here, like my son and myself, this was the key words. I intend to usher in heaven and earth. This was the key thing 
that gave us the eyes and the spear of destiny. So I'm just spelling it out for you so there's no way you can mistake it. Every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. The only reason I can see it is because I spilled my blood over those words. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. It's just that simple. That's the key that gets you into the Garden of Eden. It was my blood magic that got the spear of destiny. I'm the only one screaming this out from the top of my lungs and I'm telling you. That is the key words that gets you through the porthole and into the land of perpetual twilight. It's just that simple. You don't have to like it. So you want to be a hellblazer. You want to stand by feet, side by side, blood thicker than water. Make it to the Holy Grail before you're dead. It is what it is. The Book of Life only has 144,000 names. They call me the Angel of Death for no reason. Just blood up or shut up. Blood in, blood out. 144,000 by the book. Taking over the universe. Nobody can stop us. Satan sealed elect. Hellblazers, motherfucker.